For more information on our services, visit our website at mancinilegal.com. Your first choice lawyers across Sussex. Mancini Legal presents The Late Night Lawyer, transmitted across the airwaves on your social media channels and podcasts. We are The Late Night Lawyer. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to The Late Night Lawyer, weekend edition. I hope you're well. The date today is the 16th of May 2020, and I hope you're all keeping well and safe. It's been an interesting week this week, obviously, as the government has started to ease lockdown. We have um, started to put into place uh, COVID-19 secure, safe uh, ways of working. Um, We've been working with um, health and safety officers to ensure that we can reopen. So as a board, we have made the decision that from Monday, the 18th of May, our offices will be manned and reopened both in Horsham and in Hayward Seas, which is fantastic news. Um, We've gone through all the safety protocols to ensure that we are COVID-19 secure. And we have ensured that our staff are adequately trained to ensure that they are safe as well as our clients during this time. This is obviously going to be something that is under constant review over the course of the next quarter. And uh, we're hoping on the basis that everybody does keep safe and secure that, uh, you know, we can kickstart the economy and all work together again to ensure that things are moving forward um, for our clients and for everybody really involved in, uh, in this ordeal. So who have we got for you tonight? Tonight we have um, a fitness advisor and a personal trainer. His name is Rashid Madal. Um, I've known Rashid for some time now, um, both on a professional and business level, and um, he's very well known for his skills in personal training. Um, And what we're going to do, we're going to go through the process today of understanding how his business works, how he's been affected by COVID-19 in particular, because, um, you know, a person in his industry obviously is required to work and not necessarily accounting for the fact that there's social distancing involved at the moment. So we're, we're obviously going to see what he has done to facilitate that and to work adequately to ensure that him and his clients are obviously safe. So over to Rashid. This is the Late Night Lawyer Weekend Edition. Right, we welcome Rashid to the show. How are you doing, Rashid? Hi there, Alex. I'm very well, thank you. How are you? You good? Yeah, not too bad, not bad. Right, so Rashid, as as I've explained, you are um, a personal trainer. Uh, How long have you been doing that? Yes, so I've been uh, personal training for about four years now, but I've been in the health and fitness industry for over 10 years. Excellent, fantastic. And uh, you're... So you you have uh, have you been mainly specialising with online training? Well, um, I got into the industry as I was well. Actually, I'll say I was I used to work in a leisure centre. So at the time, I wanted to broaden my skills, and I've always liked training myself personally. So I thought, why not have a look at a course which I can a still keep in good shape yet benefit help other people benefit at the same time i realized after a while after two years of actually personal personally training people one-on-one that i felt like i got more of a buzz from classes so i got more of a buzz from helping more people at one time whereas with personal training you are literally stuck with that one person in that specific area if you're hiring a gym so I was thinking of different ways to try and generate more of an income at one hit. So I eventually left the gym. Um, I started online training a year and a half ago now. So I'm quite fortunate in that aspect to have moved online at, I would say, what was quite a good time. Perfect. Um, So I almost had my, well, I technically had my foot in the door um, by leaving the actual gym. I didn't have any overheads. I definitely say it was a slow starter. It took me a lot longer to generate clientele online than it would do personally. As I'm sure you can imagine, you can build more of a rapport interacting personally than you can online with someone you've never actually met before. Um, But I think as, 
as we're evolving more with technology and things are becoming more online based, people's mindset is changing. People are becoming more open minded. In actual fact, you save a lot more money. So you you don't just only have to pay for a gym membership. You don't even have to leave your house. You don't even have to drive to the gym. I mean, you can just simply log on. We do free classes at the moment online. We do also some paid classes, online one-on-one sessions, and it's all in the beauty of your own home, from my home to your home. And it just seems to have been working well that way, yes. So, so for the benefit of the listeners, what's the name of your company? Um, it's RashidIvanPT.com, but the brand is Ripped Training. So Ripped, Ripped Training. Training stands from my initials, which is Rashid Ivan PT. Uh, PT stands for Personal Training. And um, I'm not just the only one on my website. I have created an agency where other trainers can also share their talents and techniques as well as their speciality in different areas of skills. So if you... So if you want to get fit in specific area of sport like boxing, swimming, CrossFit, etc., I've developed a website and a business where it's not just about me. It's also about other people like me in the same industry, all under one roof who can sell their services to benefit anyone. So I'm not just restricting myself to one type of clientele. I literally want to be able to help everyone and anyone from That's all excellent. sorts of life. Yeah. including children, adults, OAPs, etc. Fantastic. Very broad. So, um, I mean, at the moment, obviously with the pandemic, we're all sitting behind our desks at home. There's no, some people haven't even got stairs to go up and down at who live in a bungalow. I mean, what yeah. would you recommend um, that people should be doing if they're sat behind their desks all day? What's, what would you say is the best thing to do? Well, on average, they say we do about 12,000 steps a day. Um, I think it's going to be very hard for anyone to achieve anywhere close to that unless you are walking around your house quite frantically or doing circles in your garden or laps in your garden rather or in your living room. Um, The best thing I would advise is if you've never done exercise before, I would say look into it and look at different slow beginner classes, which can help you build up into progressing into areas you feel you want to be better in. If you are used to exercise and you're missing the gym terribly, like myself, I would definitely say go online and have a look at interactive classes. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of videos online, ready-made videos that have already been prepared for you, which is fine. But why not log in on an interactive class where your trainer is there live with you and can still give you the benefit of your technique, correcting your technique. So we're still here with you one-on-one. We're just not physically with you, but we are via the webcam. And I, and I think classes like that are going to be a lot more popular in the future. Um, I've had loads of friends telling me that they've been doing exercises and I say to them, so why haven't I seen you in my classes then? And they say they just do these quick um, YouTube videos, etc., which is all good and well. If you're self-motivated, I think that's great. Keep going. If you do need a little bit of a help and a push, as I say, feel free to check out my free online classes as they are free at the moment and I'd definitely love to see you on there. Excellent. Okay, so mental health, major issue at the moment. A lot of people are struggling. I mean, you know, being stuck behind four walls for nearly eight weeks is enough to drive anyone insane pretty much. Um, I mean, what what benefits of exercise do you feel that the the mental health, you know, it it gives mental health, especially linked to your classes? I mean, what what would you suggest? Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. Mental health is definitely a highlighted issue over the last few years. And I expect that cases have probably risen since the whole lockdown. Yeah, I think so. Um, There are great ways to improve your mental health. I'd say number one would be eating healthier. I mean, a balanced diet, uh, overall, just the nutrients, just feeling good by... um, Just knowing the healthy benefits of what you are eating automatically makes you feel better inside. Just knowing that you're doing your body a favor, you're promoting the right vitamins and nutrients into your body to um, therefore lead a sustainable lifestyle. So eating healthier is definitely a massive uh, way to improve your mental health as well as sleep. Getting a good amount of sleep is another way to improve your 
mental health as well as exercise. Now, exercise is even better as throughout the period of time you are exercising, you are releasing endorphins into your body, which go around. And these are what I'd call positive endorphins because Again, if you haven't tried exercise, you'll, you'll only realize and feel the benefits of these positive endorphins if you actually give it a try. No one's saying you have to jump into a, a full half an hour, an hour session. Um, I've recently been doing a 25 press-ups for 25-day challenge, and I was nominated um, by a friend on Facebook to create a general awareness for mental health. And the beauty about this kind of challenge is, even if you've never done fitness before, you can progressively build up to 25 press-ups for every for 25 days, and um, you will automatically notice stronger shoulders, stronger chest, stronger core. And just by progressively building up those 25 press-ups for 25 days, um, it's almost like an incentive to want to therefore do more. So if you are a beginner in that field, in that area, and you want to give a little bit, but not too much, I would definitely say try a challenge exactly like that. See the results that you'll get just within two weeks. I definitely know you will get, you will notice results within two weeks. You'll feel a lot more buoyant on your chest. You'll be able to take your body weight a lot more. You'll also be able to, for example, if you can only do 10 press-ups max, you will then see that you will be able to now do 15 and 15 is your new max, 20 is your new max, etc., etc. So you'll get higher and higher as you progress throughout uh, just little challenges like these. And you'll feel a lot better within yourself, especially if you have a group of friends that you can encourage and you can all come together, just like the classes. We're like a community. So if you can all come together and literally motivate each other, you'll definitely feel a lot better about it. Fantastic. Excellent <clears throat> advice. Very good. So routining, I mean, that's obviously quite difficult in, uh, in sport. Um, you know, even in training, maintaining that routine. I mean, how, how, what's your advice on that? I mean, would you exercise in the morning when you first get up or, I mean, this is one thing particular that I find quite difficult to do, whether to do a morning session or an evening. I mean, what, what do you recommend? Yes, um, this is what amazed me when I used to actually train as a trainer in the gym, when I used to do the 6 a.m. shift. So I would get there for six in the morning and my first class would be at quarter to seven. And you have, I'd say you have three different types of um, gym clientele slash members. You've got the early morning crew, which I find like, you know, personally, they're quite crazy, but they're great. They're a great bunch. Um, you've got the sort of midday home workers, which are quite cool. They take, they take a bit more of a laid back approach to the exercise, which is also great. And then you've got the evening lot, which come in after work and usually it's very busy. So it's quite, um, it's quite dominated. The machines are dominated. You don't really get much of a chance to actually, well, in some gyms anyway, you don't get much of a chance to actually exercise, but, um, there are definitely benefits uh, to training in the morning and the evening. The benefits for training in the morning are you establish a routine, working out first thing. You know that's the first thing you're going to do. It gives you more energy for the day. You're feeling energized and prepared for your day. You actually, again, this goes back to the endorphins. You, you um, actually feel in a much better mood. Um, you do get improved sleep also, and it does lower your blood pressure and stress levels. So those are the amazing benefits about exercising in the morning. But as I said, I, I can't work out in the morning. Um, the guys that, the guys and girls that do, I think it's great. But personally, I've always been the one to exercise either during the day or late afternoon. I don't like to get into the evening, but there are again, massive benefits for, um, training in the evening. Um, <clears throat> so benefits for training in the evening, uh, research has actually shown that you can work up to 20% even longer in the evenings and at a higher intensity, you'll also tone up a lot faster and you'll actually sleep a more you will actually sleep a lot more deeply. So therefore you are um, contributing to your sleep, which again goes back to one of the uh, mental health tips. A lot of sleep is 
also required or suggested rather to help benefit with your mental health. So oh, yeah. it, it just depends about you as an individual. As I say, I prefer to exercise during the day. It's less busy during the day also, if you can. But if not, morning's a great time. I used to love taking the morning guys because, as I say, they were crazy. They would give it their all. They were motivated. They were hungry. They were driven. And that's what gives me the buzz. This is why I love doing what I do because I love to see people feeding off my energy. That just feeds me, you know. So it's like a back and forth um, kind of energy convey about everyone's just going round and round and just yeah i love it excellent excellent i mean i, I echo what you just said because i i actually find after a really busy day my evenings are the most productive so i normally go mm. for my five mile ride in the evening really late okay. nine ten o'clock and okay. then then that helps you sleep so yeah. I t- you know totally echo what you're saying it's uh it's definite definitely true um so adapting to the lockdown What's your, how, I mean, uh, you know, you've obviously said that you've got a lot of online, online things going on. I mean, just, just run, run the listeners through some of the classes you're offering online, how, how it's all working really for you. So um, the classes we run currently online, we run hit classes on a Monday and Friday. We run a circuits on a Wednesday and we have now recently introduced a yoga class on a Saturday morning. So it's quite exciting, actually. Um, We are now looking into also releasing a legs, bums and tums and an abs class. These are going to be um, introduced at a later date, but we're currently running the classes I've just announced at the moment and they are all free at the moment until the end of the month. So even at the end of the month, you will always get a free trial because we definitely want you to um, experience the class and see whether it's something for you or not. Um, So these are the classes we currently do run at the moment. But going back to your original question, um, yes, I was fortunately enough to jump on the online market a year and a half ago. I think anyone now that has been forced to come out of the gym into the online market, I think they, they, they're still doing okay because they've still managed to keep the current clientele that they have. They've probably just moved their classes that they would do in the gym to just online and they probably charge a fee, which I'm sure most trainers are doing. I would say my, my kind of tips to sort of generate more of an interest would probably be to post as much um, information as you can, as many videos, ask your members, your clients to also share with all their friends. And I think people need to give more tasters rather than start charging for money straight away because everyone's at a predicament now where we're all worried about money. So not a lot of people are going to be willing just to depart with X amount of cash so I think give some give, give someone a bit of an insight as to what you're offering before you just, you know, go for the money side of things. Okay, excellent. Thanks, Rashid. Uh, just going on to equipment, I mean, I just covering myself off actually, just before, just in, I think into week three of lockdown when I felt very fat and unhealthy, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I decided to get myself some gym equipment. So I bought myself one of these inclined benches that uses your own body weight to yeah. to sort of pull yourself up. And I found it quite helpful. I mean, what, what do you recommend in the way of home equipment? I mean, do you need a big budget, small budget? How, what, what's your recommendations? Um, no, you don't need a budget at all, actually. I've um, managed to housecraft some equipment and found ways of using them just as you would in the gym. Again, I've got this on my website. If you sign up to particular classes, some are equipment-based and we give you alternate equipment suggestions to what you would use at the gym. Um, Yes, I I heard that a lot of the um, gym equipment online was sold out. And um, I've gone as far as, for example, inventing or using the method of, for example, a Hoover tube, a Hoover pipe. You literally detach, uh, detach the pipe so you're just left with a long bar. You stick two plastic bags at the end of it, fill the plastic bags up with water, and there you go. You've got a bench press right there, or you've got got the use of bicep curls. 
Again, on my circuits class, we use cans of beans, custard, tomatoes, etc. because some people don't have dumbbells. Other clients may have dumbbells. Great, we use the dumbbells. We use what we can. So there are always ways of adapting the equipment. I'll give you the funniest one I came up with. So with resistant bands, um, basically you can just use a pair of knickers or in our case, Alex, we use a pair of boxers. boxers. So all you do is, is literally use the elasticity and um, that can be used as a resistant band for various different exercises. Again, I've got videos showing you how this is all done on rashidivanpt.com as well as my YouTube channel. So definitely feel free to check it out. Yeah. Um, there are definitely no excuses. You, as I say, you don't need any money. You don't need a budget. The classes are all free. The only thing that's probably stopping you from going ahead with it is yourself. So, you know, that's something we've got to, we've got to tackle at the head. Procrastination yeah. is definitely something we've all got oh, to Oh, definitely. Tackle. Definitely. Yeah. Very good. Mind over matter. Definitely. Exactly. Um, right. So career. Uh, you've obviously gone into personal training, got a vast amount of experience in uh, and get, getting into that field. I mean, what sort of path, how, how long does it take? What, what's required in becoming a trainer? Um, what's required when becoming a trainer? I think you, you can't lose sight of why you actually go into that industry. Just like any industry or any job, you've got to have some form of interest, love, passion, if you like, for that job, because at the end of the day, you are your product of what you are trying to sell. And people will sniff you out straight away. They will know whether you are enjoying doing what you're doing just by the way you interact with them, your rapport, your social connections, um, as well as probably through testimonials. So, um, sorry, what was the question again? Well, it's uh, career paths. So how, I yes. mean, from you, yeah, how would you get into, into personal it. training? So the best way I would suggest getting into personal training is, first of all, finding a routine for yourself that you like fitness-wise. Get into a routine yourself, because if you can't maintain it for yourself, how would you expect to maintain it for someone else? You could, but then, again, as I say, you are the product of what you're trying to sell. So I'd say get into a routine yourself, establish that. And there are thousands of, okay, that might be an exaggeration. There are loads of online courses now you can do where you can pay X amount and you can pay off in installments um, to do these courses. So again, you just have to look into it. Currently, I'm studying now for my level four. I've already paid for that course and I'm learning it in bite-sized chunks. Um, So that's another way if you want to progress from your level three, any trainer that's listening or want to get into training that's a level three qualified personal trainer to progress into your level four, that can easily also be done online and um, in your own time. So I would literally just say, have a look online at different agencies out there that are offering personal training courses and they're all manageable and all affordable um, you just got to have a look if that's something you're looking to go down into. Excellent. Rashid, I, I truly can't thank you enough for coming on the show. It's been really, really interesting. I think a lot of the visitors and listeners have uh, no doubt got a lot from what you've given today. Just just in closing, um, once again, just, just give the listeners your uh, website address, how they can get hold yes. of you. Yeah, sure. So my website is rashidivanpt.com. That's www. Sorry, rashidivanpt.com. Rashid is Romeo Alpha Sierra Hotel India Delta Ivan.com. And you can also find me on Instagram at rashidivanpt. Same as Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and Twitter. I'm Excellent. soon going to create a LinkedIn account so I can connect a bit more with you professionals and. Um, <laughs> Yeah, we'll go from there. Fantastic. But definitely, Any- as I say, feel free to take advantage of what you can at the moment whilst the offer's on. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So um, I would say you want to come out of this lockdown feeling like a better you completely. And even if you're not into exercise, I have diet plans where you can lose weight and you don't even have to lift anything apart from the pots and pans to prepare your food you don't have to do any other type of exercise i've got programs where you can lose weight via diet as well as via diet and exercise so you're not limited at ripped training we'll need to have a chat (laughs) 
<laughs> Great. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thanks a lot, Rashid, and I appreciate Thanks, your time. Alex. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. Thanks. For more information on our services across Haywards Heath and Mid Sussex, visit our website at mulcarejenkins.co.uk. Okay, listeners, I'm, you're in for a treat now. Uh, I managed to um, obtain a copy of Rashid's training program. So we're going to play that now for you all to listen to. And hopefully you're all going to participate as well. Over to Rashid. Hey, 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 Three, two, one. Go. Okay, good. Alternating lunges. Let's go. Bringing that knee down as close to the floor as you can at a 90 degree angle. Making sure your shoulder blades are squeezed together. Shoulders in line with your hip, in line with your knee at that 90 degree angle. Chest proud. Good. Keep going. Inhale as you come down. Exhale as you push up on the contraction of that lunge. Keep going. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Break. Good, breaking. Marching on the spot, get ready for your mountain climbers. When we get to zero, drop it down, mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Let's go, drop it down, mountain climbers. Keep your bum nice and low, core engaged. Bring that left knee past your right elbow. Alternate, right knee past your left elbow. Twist it round, each rep. Squeeze your externus abdominis on each rep, also known as your obliques. Keep pushing. Almost there. Come on, let's go. Last five seconds, push. Three, two, one. Good, breaking, back to marching. Nice deep breaths in and out. This is the Late Night Lawyer Show with your host, Alex Mancini. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got an absolute treat for you tonight. Um, we've worked really hard on the show here at The Late Night Lawyer to achieve this. Um, we've got an artist. She's an Irish singer-songwriter and guitarist. Um, her video and cover of Ed Sheeran's Supermarket Flowers went viral on YouTube in June 2017, and it's absolutely, it's a fantastic track. And uh, she's even appeared on the Ellen DeGeneres show in uh, 2018. So very proud moment for us to have on the show, Ali Sherlock. Um, she has provided a cover track of At Last, and I'll be playing it for you next. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, I'm hoping we can get more material from Ali on the show because it's just fantastic voice, truly inspirational. And um, I hope you all keep safe and uh, we'll be back for the midweek Late Night Lawyer. Thank you. Good night.
And here we are in heaven. 